I'm Sammy. And I'm Veronica. And this is the Rich and Well Podcast. Every time we do that, I feel like I need to, like, make a noise after. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I go, we don't need to beatbox it. You can add an after. (laughs) Stop. It's my phone playing. Thank you, Apple. Thank you for the sponsoring song. Sweating a little after that. So today we're going to be talking about a lot of biohacking. So I feel like we should talk about like the famous ones. All right. And I don't mean things. I mean people. Okay. Great. I I don't know if I could get like your opinion on this person because I I have mine. Mm -hmm. But I know you've heard of Brian Johnson. Yeah. Heard of Brian Johnson. The man that wants to live forever. Yeah. If you don't know, he is basically like Benjamin Button. (laughs) He's benjamin himself. So who is Brian Johnson? He is a millionaire who is obsessed with biohacking, and he's basically Benjamin... <laughs> Why can't I do it? I don't know. Benjamin... Do you know what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, Benjamin Buttoning. Yes. Yeah. Himself. Yes. <laughs> benjamin knows that. Ben- benjamin Buttoning himself. We're going to move on. Okay. <laughs> You get it. You said it. No, try it one more time. You He's Benjamin. <laughs> He's Benjamin Buttoning. Is that it? Himself. I got it. Okay. Yes. I got it. Okay. <laughs> People have their opinions on this guy. What he's doing, I think, is cool. Mm-hmm. So what he does is he spends like two million every year mm-hmm. on a team of thirty doctors to try and reverse his aging. Yeah. And what is he? What age is he trying to get to? That's the thing. It's based on a cellular cellular level. Okay. I am really struggling with these words. <laughs> English your second language? I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Um, but that's one of the things, like if you were basing it off of his appearance, I don't like he's super jacked. Like he's fit. Yeah. And like his skin looks good, but I don't think he looks he's forty five. Yeah. I don't think he looks younger. Right. Right? What do you here? We can even yeah, put can a little we, picture can we look of him? at him. Um, I think that, you know, it depends on if we're looking at the average 45 year old, then I think probably he looks a little intense. Like, I don't think he maybe looks. Well, that's the other vibe I, like I get from him is cult like leader. Shaming. <laughs> that's not shame. <laughs> not shaming. I don't know. So I'll go back and let me say I appreciate what he's doing. Yeah. That spending millions every year to try and reverse his aging because he's. Basically making himself a guinea pig for the rest of us. Yeah. Like, what if this works? Yeah. And then one day we could all do it, and hopefully it won't cost two million a year. Yeah, and I know he's getting blood, like, from his son mm-hmm. to, to get younger. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy someone's doing it, to be honest, because yeah. I am on the pursuit of longevity, for yeah. sure. A lot of the work as I do is a lot about just how do I stand up when I'm 100, Yes. You know, I'm like yeah. one of those people I practice like standing up from the floor without mm-hmm. hands. And, and like, you have to work on your hips a lot too. Yes. When you're younger. Yeah. So you have to do a lot of the fire hydrants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I appreciate what he's doing. I see yes. what you're saying. Like it's, like it's for, I, yeah. Look at his Instagram. You'll get it. So here's my thing. I, I've, I haven't read his book. I've watched quite a few of his YouTube videos and just gone through like all the different links you can see. He has a lot of links posted. Um, Him spending all this money, and this is what I get out of it, right? The blood transfusion. Mm -hmm. Like, he's taking plasma from his son. He's also giving his plasma to his dad. And that's really nothing new, because we do that just to ourselves. Like, when we do vampire facials or anything like that. Same concept. It's just you're giving it to somebody. Yeah. At first, when I saw the video, they didn't give any facts or results. So I'm like, what is this? He just wants to, like, be famous and have, like, a camera crew follow him yeah, around. Yeah, true. But he did post on his Instagram that his dad's aging was... Stop? Yeah. Like, oh, it was reversed. Like, yeah. from 70 to, I think... I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know it, it was... It, yeah. yeah. So it worked. But I think that you can probably reverse your aging just by... You know, I, I saw that he has, like, a very strict sleep regimen. And he Diet takes and supplements. Everything. And I think that reverses your aging just in general. Yeah. And just how we used to live, like, 15 years ago compared to today. Mm-hmm. Like, we're going to probably live a lot longer unless they keep putting shit into our food. But that's a separate yes. episode. I don't... I, something's missing for me. Yeah. With this guy. I'm sure. not sold yet because... Yeah. 
We have that, the blood. Yeah. We have um, a good sleep schedule. Yeah. He works out. Yeah. And he has a good diet. Like, he shares his diet, and it's... Which, by the way, I will say, on the video, he was eating Oreos. Oh. Interesting. But maybe cool. we'll, how we look at it, he might not be the person that we go to for advice or learning, but like you said, he is kind of like the suit animal that we can yeah. review and see what happens. Yeah. Oh, and he shares... um a huge part of his diet, which I think is something you know already and that we kind of knew. Extra virgin olive oil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He has a lot of that in yeah. his diet. Yeah. He, yeah, like, yeah. is selling his own brand now and everything. Oh, cool. The reason something's missing for me is, like, why Why does this cost him $2 million a year? Why? Have you seen my supplement stuff? It's but why, like, he, he, why is he money. paying, why does he have a team of 30 doctors to eat olive oil? Like, I don't... <laughs> Is there something he's not telling us? And he has this thing. You could, like, sign up early for, like, his blueprint that's coming out, and maybe the secret will be in there. Yeah. But nothing he has showed us is a secret. Yeah. It's kind of stuff we already know. Right. For the most part. Yeah. I don't know what he's not telling us, and I wonder if those, like, 30 doctors are, like, all there at the same time, or is it just, like, different people that are here, like, And each with this one on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. But he also for sure wants to be famous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously. Like, <laughs> he he's posting nudes on Instagram. Yeah, and he's at a rave. Nudes. He goes to raves. Yeah, which does not add up with the sleep. No. No. Do you know who the first biohacker in terms of wanting to live forever was? No. Walt Disney. Oh, and that's it's interesting. actually a common belief. Okay. That Walt Disney's body has been frozen. Yes. I heard that. <laughs> yeah. So the the belief is that his body is frozen okay. somewhere and he's just waiting for technology to catch up. He's waiting up. for Brian Johnson mm-hmm. to rave his way over. Yeah. <laughs> to figure it out for him. Nude. And then <laughs> with his Oreos. Sorry, I'll stop. That that mission. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, so he's hoping that one day he's going to come back to life. But do you know why they made the movie Frozen? Because of this? Yeah. I because Frozen it's from. like a whole conspiracy theory. Well, it has nothing to do with that. Okay. But the whole conspiracy theory is that Walt Disney is frozen somewhere, and Disney doesn't want that to be a thing. So they made the movie Frozen. So if you Google Walt Disney Frozen, it's just all about the movie now. While before... It was all about this conspiracy Sneaky. theory. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Why do they care? I don't know. I think it's just not the it's... vibe that they want to give when they're having like children's uh-huh. movies. <laughs> yeah, like the, the dead owner is frozen yeah. somewhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So with this whole topic, I think the last question I have for you is based on not aging or reversing our aging, I did see another episode where this gentleman who's also a bio- biohacker he truly believes that he is going to live to at least 200 yeah. based off of like all of the new technology and medicine we have and stuff. Do you, do you agree? Um, it's so funny that you asked that because I always say that I do agree. Maybe not 200, but I've always said that I think I'm going to be like 150. Yeah. Because my great-grandma was like 110 or something and her mom oh. was really old. And I'm just looking at like... If they could live that long, and I'm very health aware, then why would I not be able to live above and beyond that and still yeah. be healthy? And, you know, my grandma today, she's 91, and she's not led the healthiest lifestyle. So, mm-hmm. I just... She's kicking. But she is. Uh, but I just, yeah, so I do believe in that. Me too. I, not in like an artificial, like I don't want my body frozen down or something, but yeah. just as we learn more... And we have more resources. Yeah. So, unless the government starts filling this off. But we well, it out. Here, well, no, because my theory is that the government, the way I see it going, and I hope it doesn't go, I hope we live longer just because we, like this guy, we can biohack our way into living longer. Mm-hmm. But if you can also look at it from the point where we're living longer, but we're also sicker longer. Yeah. Because that's just... The more money the government can go back. No, so, that's true. I hope if we do live longer, I hope we're not, like, sick the whole time. And if this is going to be, you can live longer if you spend $2 million a year on it, like, it's going to be for only the rich. And well, well, do you see his book is called, um, Learn How to 
stay 18 forever for only 2 million a year or something like that. Oh, only. Like, yeah, <laughs> okay, only. Wait. But we're also so... Now I'm going on a tangent. You can edit this out. But we're so overpopulated. So the fact that we are living longer is not necessarily, like, the most positive thing for the planet. Is... Wait. Wait. I had an epiphany. <gasps> Does the government already know we're going to live longer and that's why they're trying to, like, move some of us to Mars or outer space? COVID. I mean, <laughs> she just had to drop COVID. 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 That's COVID. what they dropped. I mean, yeah, I think that it's just how it has worked. We make more babies than we die. Okay. So that has been from the start of the planet. We've just duplicated. Yeah. So that's just how they know it's going to go. But yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited if we get to... Like, I hope we're here at 100 doing a podcast. Sorry, I didn't ask. Do you think that you're going to live until you're yeah. 200? Yeah. Well, I hope so. Yeah. Not 200. But I would like to push over 100 for sure. Okay. I would love that. Yeah. In New York City. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> She's obsessed with New York. I am obsessed with New York. Life is so ironic. Like, somebody like this who's biohacking their age... In reverse, like, you could... I don't want to, like... No. <laughs> Say it. Say it. We're already there now. Like, what if he goes outside and gets hit in the head with a brick and, like... <laughs> <laughs> Like, you can't reverse your you life. You can't say, like, a normal thing, like, get hit by a car. You have to say hit in the head by well, a car. I just watched Home Alone, too. Oh. <laughs> gets burned up or covered yeah. in feathers. <laughs> yeah, I just think life's funny that way. Because you can spend $2 million a year trying to reverse your aging, and then one day you're just like, God. Of course, yeah. But without that, if we all are lucky, I hope we all live to push one. Let's go for 150. Let's go That's for 150. Fair. 150. I like that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, and healthy and happy. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That was it. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye.